Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. At my parents' home in Spain, we just recently installed an air thermal system, which is also called air source heat pump, if you're more familiar with that, to heat up the house, as well as an electric water heater. And today I will share the cost, the exact models of the appliances that we installed, uh, the estimated consumption for the whole house, and also the expected return on investment. Although on this last point, I won't go into as much detail as I usually do, if you've seen other videos that, that I usually make. Um, and that's essentially because it is quite complex to predict with exactitude how much will the return on investment be. I will talk more about it later, but with that out of the way, let's get started. First, let me talk briefly about why we decided to install the aerothermal system and the electric water heater. The decision was made at the same time that we decided to install photovoltaic solar panels at the house. Essentially, we wanted to install solar panels, yes or yes, but until one or two months ago, we to heat up the house and also for hot water, we were just using natural gas. If we had kept it as it was, we wouldn't have had to install as many solar panels as we did. And by the way, if you're curious, I made a video about one or two weeks ago where I was going through the whole installation of photovoltaic solar panels that we did at the home with very detailed uh, estimated return on investment and so on. So if you're curious and want to watch it, it will be here above and also linked down below in the description. Anyways, as I was saying, if we had kept it, uh, we would have installed just a few solar panels, but we decided to go big with the installation of the solar panels and also installing the aerothermal system and the electric water heater. There were many reasons behind the decision, one of them being that the boiler we had at home was very old, around 14 years old, was making a lot of very weird noises and probably in the next one to two years we would have had to replace it for a new one and we would have had to spend around maybe 1,000 to 2,000 euros for a new one. On top of that, we also wanted to make sure that we were making the most out of the solar panels that we were installing and transitioning to just having electricity to run, to run the whole house was also a plus, as we didn't have to have two separate providers of gas and of electricity. And have to pay, of course, fixed amounts every month just to have the supply of electricity and the supply of gas. I checked some invoices and we were paying around 8 to 10 euros every month flat just to have the gas supply, so the possibility to use the natural gas if we needed it. Furthermore, to heat up the whole house, we were spending a lot of money, which we should now be reducing with the aerothermal system as it is much more efficient. Last but not least, natural gas is a fossil fuel, as you all know, which is not a renewable source of energy. So transitioning to greener energy to run the whole house was also a big plus. Hopefully by now all the reasons are clear, but how much did we pay for the whole installation? The total cost was of 9,885.70 euros and this includes both the air thermal system and the electric water heater. The electric water heater cost was of 700 euros plus some materials and labor costs. So I would assume that the total for the electric water heater was around 1,500 euros approximately, which leaves us uh, of around 8,385.7 euros for the aerothermal system. One point that I really want to stress out is that there are different types of aerothermal systems. The most complex ones can heat up the house and also cool it down. So they work as a heater but also as AC. However, the one we installed was just to heat up the house. I am mentioning this because if you Google online, many other thermal systems which are these more complex ones, they cost around 20,000 euros, at least in Spain, to the whole installation. So just in case you're thinking, oh no, it cannot be that it was so cheap, um, whatever, that's basically the reason why. In terms of the exact models of the machines that we installed, if you are curious, the aerothermal system was from El Nur Gabarron, and it is a model on the screen, and if something doesn't make sense, it's because I used the Google function to translate the content. I will also leave all the links down below in the description if you want to check them out. Then, apart from the machine itself, also there's a thermal accumulator tank which stores the hot water that then gets distributed all over the radiators in the house. And finally, there's an expansion vessel, and I hope that's the right translation again, which basically helps to keep the pressure in the system. The electric water heater is from El Nur Gabarron and of 150 liters, and it can be configured to only work using the energy from the solar panels. This is great because we can ensure that we have free hot water, or at least hot water that has been heated up only using the electricity from the solar panels, for which we are not paying anything, of course, besides the installation that we made and so on. 
and also it is the one with the lowest level of priority so if for instance I am cooking I have a washing machine on and also the other thermal system is working and I'm already using all the electricity being produced at that moment by the solar panels the water heater won't be heating itself up and only once there is excess of electricity then it will start heating up the water now you know what we installed why we installed it and the cost of it but what about the consumption for the electric water heater it uses between 3 and 7 kilowatts hour per day depending of course on how much water I have used and how much water needs to be heated up. For the air thermal system considering that we just installed it and that it was only running for about one month before I turned it off that it was during the month of April beginning of May which is not that cold in Spain anymore I was averaging a total consumption for the house of around 20 kilowatts hour per day of electricity and now that I turned it off I am using around 6 to 7 kilowatts hour on average and this means that it was consuming around 13 to 14 kilowatts hour of energy to keep the house at around 20 degrees Celsius. What we'll be missing now is the expected return on investment. As I already advanced at the beginning of the video, this is very hard to tell exactly and I will explain right now why. The first reason is that we just installed the aerothermal system at the beginning of April and I just had it running for one month before I turned it off because it's already getting warmer in Spain and I don't, basically just don't need it anymore. And also you must thing that during this month it was also not the coldest month so I couldn't see how much the exact consumption was during very cold winter days and you could say well you could just take how much you spend on natural gas last year and that's basically a bit how much you will be saving um, the thing is that I am a very frugal person so when we were having natural gas to heat up the whole house I was almost never turning on the heating and just using the wooden stove that we have and also an electric radiator in my room to heat up just the places where I was staying at but not the whole house unnecessarily and if I had basically heated up the whole house instead of spending 712.89 euros which I spent mostly basically just having hot showers so not even to heat up the house I would have spent more than 2000 euros for sure if I wanted to keep the house at 20 degrees celsius at all times and for some background as well the house excluding the garage is of around 122 square meters with pretty high ceilings in the living room which are not great for heating as the heat just goes up for all the mentioned reasons I won't be sharing just yet what the expected return on investment is I would rather wait until it has been running for one full year to be able to compare and properly assess what does this mean for you? Well, that you need to subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed to make sure that you don't miss the next video. Anyways, with this I will leave it for today. What do you think of what we installed? Do you have an aerothermal system or an electric water heater? Is your house also just running on electricity? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video then don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed and as always, see you next time.